Hello everyone and welcome back to Shanahan Military. In today's video we're going to cover this item. What this is, this is the SLR. It's the British rifle that was uh, adopted in the late 50s I believe, right up until the 80s. Um, the actual rifle itself originally was made by Fabrique National, later by Lienfield in England I believe was the main manufacturer of them, of the SLRs. Um, the rifle itself didn't change, there was a few uh, little pieces that um, the British didn't like that the Fabrique National version, the Belgian version had, like fully automatic, um, it was a different flash hider, or yeah, flash hider, um, uh, a lot of them had grenade sights here on them that the, the British didn't like. Um, these are completely unloaded, they are replicas, they're not actually live firers. Um, so this is the timber version. The problem with the timber version that they found, um, especially after uh, working in tropical areas like Hong Kong, places like that, was the timber getting hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, and wet and moist and stuff um, would crack. Um, especially in along here where there's grooves for to heat, uh, cool the barrel. Um, the Australians used this in Vietnam. It was used by the Rhodesians. Um, it was used. Uh, strangely enough, by both the Argentinians and the British uh, in this in the Falklands War against each other, uh, the Irish Army used these. It's still used in Brazil by the Brazilian Police Force. Um, there's still armies around the world that are genuinely armed with this. Um, it was known as the right hand of the free world. Uh, so it has a, a very very good history. The G three. If you ask me, it's pretty much based on the, the same principle as this. Um, so this is the timber version. There is a plastic version, whereas they just changed the timber um, to plastic. So there's the boat rifles. This was the most common one that you would have seen um, prior to the Falklands and on the streets of Northern Ireland and Hong Kong and places like that where the British Army were prevalent. Um, it's the real rifle is a 7.62 version, um, huge stopping power, it is uh, accurate out to about 600 yards as an individual rifle and possibly 800 to 900 yards as a section weapon. Um, there, it is a piston driven rifle and that's pretty much all, it's about, uh, these are, I can't give you the exact weight but these are a slight bit lighter than the actual real rifle. Um, as I said, they were very, very popular throughout the world. Um, still used by certain armies and certain police forces today. So, if you like what we provide here at Shanahan Militaria, please like, please subscribe, please hit the notification button, and please leave a comment also. Thank you.